Alright, so in today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how I make a soft body frog out of 3D printed TPU, flexible TPU. I'm currently in Mesh Mixer, and I uploaded an STL file of a frog. Now, this frog has some interior parts that are going to need removed. So, right now, I'm zooming down into the body of the frog and those supports that are meant to be tubes going through the body of the frog and the one you can see on the bottom both need removed so I'm going to use this shrink brush and hit those and shrink them down so that the actual interior of this frog is hollow. I printed this as a solid frog to use as a mold and was going to try and drill it out and put a hook through it but with those tubes being inside of this body of this frog it's virtually impossible to get the hook to run the way that you want it to. So I've taken the STL file and I'm modifying it as you can see with the shrink brush. From here I got to shrink, I, I have to shrink the bottom portion. You'll see here, I, I'm having a little bit of trouble getting zoomed in on the inside of this frog um, with the CAD design. But right here, I'm going to shrink this support on the bottom <clears throat> down to nothing. And then I pan around a little bit here just to make sure everything's gone. And at this point, the frog's all clean inside. Now we're going to zoom out here shortly. Now we zoom out and we'll move on to modifying the frog for holes. Now in Mesh Mixer, you go to the mixer and you can add a shape. I'm using the cylinder. The program causes these shapes to be placed on the most flattest surface it can find. So when you drag it onto the frog and drop it, you are going to have to adjust it. Um, right here, if you grab the green arrow on the square, if you grab the arrow itself, it'll drag the whole item. If you grab just the square, it's going to extend the length of the sphere. Now you need to do this so that that sphere completely passes through the interior of the frog. Um, you can use the blue and the pink arrow to make adjustments in placement and that's what I'm doing here is just kind of moving it around and making sure I like where the placement's at. You can see in the dis the sidebar on the left the sizes of the holes <clears throat> once you get what you like you're going to highlight the frog first then hold shift and highlight the other item and click you'll click uh, boolean difference is what is going to cause that sphere that you input to be erased from the project. I'm doing the front hole now, dragging the sphere out to make sure it's long enough to pass completely through the front of the frog and into the inner cavity and then slide it back in. Make sure I got a good placement on it and hit accept. Now when you create these spheres 
um, on Mesh Mixer, you need to make sure that you create a new object, not a mesh, or it won't delete the sphere that you placed into the frog. It'll turn it into a solid project. You can see here the hole goes the whole way through the frog. And now I just take a brush and smooth out the dimples just a little bit on the frog. This wasn't a necessary step. Um, it's just something that I decided that I wanted to do uh, just to smooth them out a little bit and makes it a little cleaner when it prints. I could have done a better job, but it was just a quick and dirty. Now from here, you need to export this. So you'll export it. I'm saving it to my desktop and name it whatever you like to name it. From there, make sure it's a binary or the other STL file. It has to be an STL file when you export it. Um, from there, you open Kira or whatever slicer project slicer that you prefer to use. I use Kira. And I'm going to import the frog into Kira. Now the one thing I don't show here is I downsized this to 55. I believe it was originally 61 and I print it at a 0.1 mil layer height. Uh, it, it makes for a cleaner print. This is just the frog being sliced and I drag down through the layers so that you can see it is currently hollow. The holes are in place. And from here, print it with your preferred TPU. If you want this to be a soft, flexible frog, you got to use TPU. Uh, Ninja Flex, I think, is the best. I have generic TPU, and it's a little stiff, but it works. All right, so we have flexible TPU. Sorry, I got a dog and a cat behind me being a butthead. It's kind of hard to see. Let's see if I get it to focus. The bill plate's moving. Um, this is my attempt at a soft body frog using flexible TPU filament. I printed a few with um, PLA, some shells, and tried to make molds, but I can't find a comparable plastic to inject into the mold and make it soft. I'm still working that avenue, but for today's project, we're going to attempt to do a soft body frog. Out of flexible filament. All right, so here's the frog. Once it comes off the printer, it's got the hole in the front. It currently has the supports on the bottom, and then the hole in the back is blocked by a support. But what I'm going to do is these supports come off fairly easy. If you get a hold of it, and just kind of pull on them. So that's the first portion. So that's the support ripped off. And I hit that with a little bit of sandpaper just to clean up the ridges. And then from here, I'll show you how I get the hook into the frog. I bought this kit from Amazon. It's the frog hooks. It'll be linked in the description below. And um, eyes. Let me find one and I'll show you. 
All right, so these are the eyes. It's a welded two-piece ring. And basically, you take the hook and you slide it over the ring. Sorry, I'm trying to do this on my phone camera and get it to hang like that. And now we'll put it inside the frog body. All right, so this is probably the most challenging part of this whole build. I have, this is picture frame hanging wire out of like one of the little cheap Walmart kits. And you have to thread it through the eye on the um, hook. And then these two pieces of wire get passed through the back hole of the frog. So they get passed through and then you got to fish them out the front. Sometimes it's easier to do one wire at a time, but once you got them out the front, then you can pull on the wire. Might need to get pliers. And it'll pop in. Now this next one, when you go to put the second one in, be really careful because these are laser sharp and you don't want to be holding this frog and pulling this wire and slip and put a freaking barb all the way through your finger. So this is where I got the pliers I'll show you. So you got your frog and you got your wire coming through the front of it. And you want to grab that wire with the pliers and make sure that hook's not anywhere near your hand. You're gonna pull it through. And once you get to right there, once you get it in, so you wanna hold tension on these pliers with your hand and take the shank of the hook. And force it into that hole. Just be careful doing this part. Um, I don't want anybody to get hooked or have to go to the ER and have a hook removed because you're trying to do this. And you get it like that. And get your hook into position. It flips pretty easy. And now with your frog like that, you can take your pliers. Pull your loop through. My wire's a little tangled up right now. And then on the tip of this, if you'd like, you could do like a small dab of super glue. I mean, it's not coming out of there. And the hooks stay pretty, the hooks stay relatively straight. And I have another one that I made that I actually just took and fished with it. Right now, this kind of prototype, currently I would say is not weed proof. Um, I could beef up the size of this frog a little bit, but this flexible TPU, it has flex and give to it. It's not as soft as um, a mass produced soft body frog. Now there is another product called Ninja Flex that's supposed to be a lot softer than this. And I have a roll of that coming, but for this one, um, the overall build quality is good. I have 
tried this out. It floats amazing. Um, walks amazing. The only thing I haven't done yet is add like streamers for legs. Um, and I'm just going to take like some of the fly tying material, the stretchy rubber stuff and either tie it right to the bottom of the hook so that it streams back here or figure out how to do, um, legs off of this, but That's my version of the 3D printed soft body frog. Uh, I have yet to see anybody put this on YouTube anywhere. Um, I've seen people make them out of the stuff that you use to pour like soft baits. So it's a full soft plastic frog. And I've seen them made solid out of wood or 3D printed where you have to actually screw um, hook holders into the plastic and hope and pray that that doesn't pull out if you catch a fish. This here is a complete union from that to the hook all the way through your frog body. The flex is there. So that's my attempt and I'll have the STL file in the description below um and links to the amazon products that i used to build this hope you all enjoyed what you saw today um get some tips from my process um build it to your own standards this frog is 55 mils in size on an ender 3 pro 3d printer um and you can make them big, small, uh, depending on what size hooks you want to use, what you're fishing for, things like that. Thanks for watching. Um, if you don't mind, hit that like, subscribe button, whole deal. Catch you on the next one. Thanks.